Everyday life is full of synthetic chemical products. Over the past 80 years, many chemical substances of industrial origin have been added to the list of products used. POPs, persistent organic pollutants, are especially dangerous. Toxic, they have harmful effects on public health and the environment. Persistent, they last for a long time in the environment, whole decades even. Volatile, they can travel large distances through the atmosphere and can be found in remote areas where they have never been used. By accumulable, they accumulate in the adipose tissue of living beings. Their toxicity has harmful effects on the environment and living organisms. In humans, can cause cancer, malformations and other birth defects, behavioral and learning problems, alteration to the immune system, reduced fertility, damages to the nervous system, etc. Where do we use POPs? These compounds have been and still are used in agriculture to combat pests, pesticides, as well as in many industrial processes. Others, however, like dioxin and furans, are subproducts produced unintentionally from various industrial and natural processes. Since the first signs of the harmful effects of POPs came to light, legislative tools have been developed to manage the risks. In particular, the Stockholm Convention, ratified by 172 countries, with the objective of restricting and ultimately eliminating the production, use, release and storage of POPs. This convention identified 21 of these POPs as particularly dangerous. The proliferation of pesticide used in agriculture and the accelerated pace of developed societies have led to a food industry that is based on packaged products and the presence of large number of chemical substances. Pesticides were introduced in the 40s and the 50s, they are not just found in plants. Meat and fish also contain them since their contamination travels the length of the food chain. In recent years, some countries have banned the use of organochlorinated pesticides. DDT is the most famous and controversial of the pesticides. DDT has been used worldwide since it was first created, and that is still present today in our environment and living organisms. It is currently banned in the majority of countries, except in those where its prohibition would mean the spread of malaria. Go for products with ecological labels. Some are already been introduced into high street stores, others can be found in specialist stores. Buy fresh, unpackaged produce. By doing so, you will avoid potentially toxic preservatives and wrappings. Get involved in a consumer cooperative. This will give you access to a broad range of quality ecological products. Support and participate in social initiatives for a healthier and more sustainable food industry. It is not easy, technically speaking, to find viable alternatives to POPs. The same properties that make them so toxic and highly polluting, unknown at the time they enter the market, are the same properties that make them so efficient in the eradication of plague, cotton bleaching and delaying of the outbreak of fire in electrical and electronic appliances, etc. However, since the first science emerged of their harmful effects on human health and uh, the environment, research is being carried out into green chemistry and new laws and conventions have been passed to move forward a future free from POPs. Public information, awareness and participation are essential for moving towards a future free from POPs. Go online, you will be able to build on this information. Tell your friends and family about this video. Thank you.